Hi everybody, it's Pam at the Paper Outpost and today, today I thought I'd show you how to make these cute and fun and easy use them up scrappedness. Um, pap Hang on, I have a wayward pup that's doing something he needs not to be doing. Hold on. And a back. Hey! Um, adorable little paper clips, decorated paper clips. Yes, we've all seen them. But this today I decided to use up some scraps and turn them into adorable little notebook paper clips. Yes, how cute is that? Um, using up scraps. Now, let's see when I can show you that I don't have to touch too much. Um, just a little piece of fabric on the front and then just random scrap paper. Somebody could write little secret notes or you could stamp a word or, um, you know, maybe a special date, something like that. Or use these as little tear-offs to put other little pieces of paper around your journal. Maybe you're going to build a different page, something like that. Uh, very easy to make, different ways to make them. And uh, so and no so techniques shown. And um, let's get to it. So let me show you prototypes. Here's prototype number one. Uh, uh, just using some of this fabric that I love. I don't have a lot of it. So I'm trying to use every scrap that I have. Um, one of my words from my positive words digi, but you can use words torn out of a book that will work as well. Um, some coffee dyed pages, just, you know, we have this, uh, you know, if you make journals, you have the, hi Holly, that's my African Greg <laughs> saying hello because he knows mama is now doing a video. But we have this eternal supply of little scraps of paper and what a great way to just collect the odd little bits and use them for something um, positive and useful. And uh, this is actually a piece of blue bed sheet layered on with a little bit of lace from a curtain and a little bit of white bed sheet stamped with a rubber stamp, some Nuovo black drops, and uh, just three little pieces of unusual paper on the underside just for fun. You could use all white paper, it doesn't matter. Um, you could use any paper. I'm being very ginger. I'm working very gingerly with these because um, they're still wet. And you know what happens if you've watched any of my videos when that happens, what I tend to do. So I'm trying to be very, oop, oop. Okay, let me just go around. Okay, this was a double flapper. This is a double flapper and layered papers underneath. And I'm gonna put that down before, you know, everything runs amok. Here is a no-sew version. Uh, yes, that is a real flower. It's a dried flower. And I just went ahead and I glued it down with Fabri-Tac. I put a little daub of um, stickles gold or some kind of color. Let me figure out what it is. It is da 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 There's that song again. Hmm. All right, I, I need a new song. Sandstone. Can you see that? Sandstone, that's the color I used. Kind of looks like a gold. And um, just pop some papers underneath that just for fun. They function as regular paper clips um, and you just have to decide whether you want them to go onto your page left or to the right. Uh, I just do mine at random. However they come out, I just, I just make them. I don't think about it too much. I've also done some where you um, stick some um, little metal charms on them. I glue them down with Fabrifix. Very easy. And I like to tear the strips of fabric so I get that little ruffle torn edge and you can use different types of fabric. This is more of a chiffon silky polyester type fabric, but I thought, you know, hey, Halloween time, you know, kind of works right now. And this is uh, some of those tea towels that I have um, from Walmart. They're white cotton um, flower sacky style tea towels and uh, they make great everything. Let's face it, you can cover books in them. You can make these with them. You can just do everything with them. They're so, it's such a wonderful fabric. And uh, so there you go. So want to make some with me? Grab some paper clips and let's get to it. Okay, so what you're going to need, okay, are, well, I don't think I grabbed the paper clips. Hang on. Okay, so I'm using the jumbo paper clips and these particular, you can get them in all different sizes. And I would just say, use the bigger ones as opposed to, you can make small ones, but it'll, just, it'll be more fussy with the fingers. And these are officially uh, one and seven eighths inch paper clips, just so you know what I'm working with. And if you want to work with the same, you can do that. And what I did was I just grabbed a pile of my scraps here and I'm just going to randomly put uh, scraps together. Uh, but let's go ahead and pick out um, some material for the front. And let's start with a simple one. This is just a white bed sheet. Hello, white bed sheet. Um, we're going to use white bed sheet first. And it actually tears pretty easily. And I think maybe I'm just going to tear this in half. A very fragile white bed sheet. <laughs> a 
but uh, that'll work and I'm not too worried about the bottom. I think that's kind of cool actually. You can snip it off even Steven if you want. Haven't heard that in a while, have you? <laughs> um, I haven't. Uh, okay, so I'm going to use this paper clip first. I'm just going to lay these down, and I'm going to I'm going to basically build this um, front to back. Okay, so this is going to be the front facing that way. Okay, so I'm looking at the back of the front. Got that? I hope so. All right, um, and it really doesn't matter as long as you can you know which way you you want your papers to go. Um, and even if you make it a smidge too wide, it still works out because when you put it on, it kind of scrunches it together and it, it still kind of looks cool. So that's good. All right. So I'm just going to randomly take some paper strips. You can t give them pretty torn edges or just leave them as is. And let's see, I just want to pick maybe, maybe three strips. Doesn't really matter. Anywhere between one and four is a good number. Um, I'd say probably you don't want to go much fatter than four, but... You know, you can do whatever you like. It's fine. Okay. All right. Let's say I have, I have these three. Okay. So I have my selections. I'm going to show you the no sew way first. So I align them so they're all together. Turn them over. And I lay them about... What? No. Put that there. I got to get these in here first. Okay. So let's grab a paper clip. And uh, you, can, you can open this up a little bit so it's a little easier to place. Um, I've tried this different ways. This, this might work. Okay in. No, no, that's not going to work. It's got to go the other way. Right. Okay. Yeah. You got to kind of think about this for a second. Okay. It, no, like this. Nope. Not at all. Actually, I'm on the wrong side. Okay. Da, 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 da. Back over here. You need the side that's the long side. See this, this piece I, I'm calling the short. It ends here. It's on the outside. You want the long side, right? So that's what we want. We want to get in there in that little tight spot. And that's probably the trickiest thing is you just, you got to get them in there and uh, you just sort of thread them and you hope, <laughs> but eventually you get them and then all is good. No, oh, actually crossed would look cute too. All right, let's just try cross. Let's just see how that goes. Oh, we're just so wild and crazy today. And um, I'm going to, okay. So I got like that. See? All right. Just through the long one. All right. Then I'm going to grab my papers and you can glue these together. Um, if you're going to sew them, probably don't staple them at the top. But if you're going to, you know, maybe it's not that hard to get them organized once you get going. Yeah. I would try doing it without anything first. And then if you have like a total catastrophe, then maybe staple them down or something. But okay. Like that. All right, and then they're there. Okay, so let's just look at it from the front. Well, that's kind of cool, right? Okay, we can we can make it a little shorter, but I like that. And I'm just going to take this, and you can use any stapler. I just happen to have this Tim Holtz Ideology Tiny Attacher, I think it's called. You can put a staple there, and you are locked and ready to go. I'm just going to tear that off there, maybe. Okay, and maybe you want to decorate the top a little bit. Maybe you're thinking, maybe I need a little something. You know, and I have these bird's nests that I made out of um, uh, threads and little pearls and uh, Fabrifix glue. And I think I'm just going to stick one of those on there because I think it'll pop nicely. These are great for little accents or if you have extra thread laying around on the floor and you don't want the dog to eat it and you don't know what to do with it, but you don't want to throw it away. Da, 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 da. We have a craft. I have a video on that um, and I will try and remember to link it below. All right. Actually, I can, I can put it right on here. Can you see? Can you see? Okay. All right. Here we go. And we're down. Yep. So yeah, there's like, you could put anything on these things. You know, there's no have tos. Mm -mm -mm. Um, now I can go ahead and decorate this more, but I, I kind of like the simplicity of that one. I don't know. It's just something about it speaks to me. And uh, so we will leave this one as is. Can we leave it as is? I don't know. I'm having a feeling like we maybe should do something on it. No, let's leave it as is. Let's just leave it as is. We'll go on to the next one. Okay. I just want to show you a bunch of these to give you different ideas of what you can do. Because maybe you don't have a lot of things laying around, um, but you might have some old material. Not much. Maybe you just have strips. That's all you have. Okay. Well, let's see what we can do with it. Um, let's take this. Maybe you were doing a, a sewing project or you've got some fabric stored up in the closet or something and you, you you have like high hopes for it but you really don't know what you want to do with it well maybe you could just take a little piece of it off and this this isn't going to take much and uh 
I like all the little threadies hanging. All right, let's get you in place first. Going again for the long side, not the not the short side, but the long side. Okay. And remember, just take a look at it. Do you want your paper to load in this way? Or do you want it to load in this way? Like which side? This would be on the right side, right page. And this way would be on the left page. Okay, so just kind of however you want it to, to be because it's going to be um, one-sided. All right, I'm in. I'm in. Okay, this is one's going to be straight. It's a lot faster with the stapler, I'll tell you that. Um, but it's kind of cute with the, uh, the sewing, so... All right, let's just make another one of these. And um, it's handy to have a little ruler to tear with so you can get your strips the right width really fast. And let's see. And they could be different widths. They don't all have to be the same width. You, know, you might want some width variety, which ends up just making more scraps. But, you know, hey, that's kind of the name of the game around here. Who are we kidding? All right, let's put you in there. And you can stagger them a little bit um, this way. And, oops this way. So some are different lengths than the other ones. So they have a little bit of a petticoat look to them. Very cute. Nice little touch. Turning over, sandwiching in here, getting them all aligned at the top. Very important. They're not all aligned at the top. Whatever your uh, adhering device, like your staple or your stitches, won't grab everything. So you want to make sure they're all abutted at the top. Get your little abutments in place. And... You can do one or two staples. I think one is perfectly um, adequate. Okay, so that was easy, right? And um, let's see what we're going to do with this guy. Uh, let's play with some Nouveau Crystal Drops in the lovely color Ebony Black. Okay, and let's see. Let's, oh, I got a little doodad or anything I can stick on here. Let me see. Okay, I just grabbed my random shape paper punching extravaganza drawer. I found this little piece. I thought he might look cute. Whoops. You stay over there, word drawer. We might need you in a second. All right, kind of like that. Yeah, I think that's kind of cute. Maybe I want to ink that up a little bit. Okay, where's the inker? Here it is. Not far. Um, so these are fun and easy, more zen-like projects, and you can just sit down and do a bunch of these at a time. Before you know it, you'll have a nice little collection that you can pull out and quickly use on any little uh, journal card, um, pocket, you name it, you're going to have, you're not going to use these on pockets, what am I talking about, or cards. Um, they're going to go on journal pages most likely. I guess you could use them on a card, but I think... Um, yeah, in a, on a journal page, you would be ready to... Oh, it would be nice if you could see. Sorry. Sorry. Going north. Going north. North alert. All right. Okay, so we have that. And then, um, so there's a little bit of black in here. So maybe I want to play with the black a little bit on here. Let's see. Let's try this. See what kind of a mess we can make today. Um, so these, I, I, I know, I store them upside down. That'll never happen. They're all in a drawer. <laughs> um... God bless the organized folks out there. I, I aspire to be one of you. It's not likely going to happen. <laughs> yeah. um, okay, so let's maybe do, we could do a little design. Anyway, it, it could be anything. They could be random dots. You don't, you don't have to be like super artiste or anything like that. Maybe you just want to do polka dots. Yeah, anybody can do polka dots. Down up is the technique. Going for that Dalmatian feel. Yeah, nothing wrong with that. Okay, how about that? And then maybe you come along and you say, well, you know, I, I think it just needs a little something else. You know, I don't know, Pam, I just want one more little something on there to say that I was here. And uh, maybe you come up with, uh, maybe I need a word. Oh, there's a sparrow. How about that? That's a nice word. Okay, so sometimes it's good to keep some just book pages around from books maybe you've been tearing up, you know. Maybe you're one of those book tear uppers. And just want to ink that up a little bit. And you're just playing with your papers, having a dandy time. Very low pressure. Okay. I'm using my Scotch Create permanent glue stick. Okay. And I'm going to put this near the top, trying not to step 
step into what I have already put down. Let's see if we can do it. Okay, it's gonna be close, but we can try. Okay, oh, yeah. not bad, not bad. Okay, so that is the completed project. Um, so I'm gonna put that over there to dry. Where's the other one? Okay, I see it. Put it over there, way out of my hands. Okay, so as you can see, they don't take very long to make, but I'll just hang out with you and we'll just make some together because you know what? I need some too. I need some too. Oh, I haven't used one of this material yet. This is a, um, a, a scarf that had been torn into shreds by me. And uh, that might be kind of fun. Let's, let's take a piece of this. And the scissors are here. Yes. And these can be as long or as short as you want to make them. There's no, there's no rules. You can, you can do whatever you like. Um, okay, let's see. Going for the, the long side again. Getting it in there. That's probably the trickiest part is getting that first piece of material in there. Once it's in, and like I said, it doesn't have to fit perfectly as long as it's pretty darn good. That's good. Okay, we have that. That's our basement. Now we're just going to, maybe I'm going to do a layered um, approach this time with the, the pieces on the inside. Like you're going to, we're going to layer going that way. Yeah, just for fun. We're going to just do something different. Yeah, we're just going to, we're shaking it up. We're going big and we're going home. We're already home. We're always home, it seems like, doesn't it? Who's home? I am, I am, I'm always home. Actually, no, today I was out. I actually went for a hike in the woods. Yes, with some uh, very nice uh, hiking people. They love to hike and off we went. Okay, here we go, down, putting it down there. This is, you gotta be a little dexterous here. Just get it to go so it's kind of in the middle of your strip and then fold your strip down, making sure your abutment has occurred. These papers are budding up there. Okay, if you pull the fabric through, that'll help anchor it. Then you come in with maybe a regular staple or, oh, don't start migrating on me, I see you. I see what you're up to. You think you're gonna get away with it, but you're not. No, 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 I'm on to you. Okay, and you grab your stapler of choice. Maybe you want the staple in the back. Doop. And you come in here with the swiftness of a sparrow and you might, it might require one or two staples because we've layered. So you want to make sure you got them all. And if you got them all, you're good. You're good. Okay, so we have that. And I would like to maybe use these up. So let me go ahead and just use this one up because I got it here. And it goes really nicely with the pink. I got a little pink thread in here, I think. There we go. Ah, there we go. All right, you guys. Everybody get under there and get in your place. Maybe I want another little piece of something right under there though. What would I like? Maybe a piece of this? Okay, that would pop nicely. Okay, we'll do that. Well, I was thinking, oh, there's the lace. That's what I really wanted. This creamy lace stuff, which is actually off an, an old curtain. Okay, let me try that. Can you see? Can you see? Yep, just any little piece of something. Okay, that'll work. All right, here we go. Here we go. You could also use cheesecloth. You could use gauze. Yeah, whatever you like. Just a little layer design. Covers the staple. What staple, right? What staple? It's no staple. Be silly. <laughs> okay, and there you go. So that's kind of cool. And if, if it's too gangly long, like daddy long legs long, you can just shorten them up a little bit. Yeah. Very cute, huh? Very cute. And it is a functioning staple. No, oh, staple. Um, <laughs> this, is a, this is a paper clip. Yes. Not to be confused with the safety pin or apparently the staple now. Okay, um, so there we go. And uh, you could do more things on here, but I think that's just a nice little uh, look. You know what? No, we need something. Yep, it needs something. What does it need? Where, 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 where did they go? Here, I think it needs a word. Oops, something fell. Oh yeah, some of my dunsies just fell. Hang on. Okay, I'm back. And no, Sunshine did not eat them. I got them first. And I thought maybe I would put, like some kind of, oh, some kind of word. I think maybe what color would look like. I think, I think maybe this kind of linen-y kind of, it's on a, this is a positive word. How about elevate? That's a nice word. Very positive, very happy. I'm going to elevate our mood today by crafting. <laughs> yep, that's what we're doing. Mood elevation 101. Grab some paper, start cutting, start gluing, and have fun, right? Okay, that's all, that's all it takes. That's the entire recipe. Here we go. Okay, 
but maybe we want to layer it up a little bit because you know we're all in, we're in a layery mood so i'm gonna take a little more of this or do we want to put it on that oh now i've got decisions uh, well, maybe maybe more wispy this seems kind of wispy all right we'll go with wispy use more of this all right that's another little piece of the curtain okay don't tell aunt sally i cut up her curtains oh i got it at goodwill it's okay i'm gonna layer that on there yeah like i know what i'm doing um i have no idea what i'm doing um all right let's just put some glue down Whoop, we're doing glue we're doing glue ooze i see okay all right we're gonna we'll deal with you yeah yeah you won't you won't get away with that no okay there we go very pretty very pretty right mm -hmm. yeah just a little lovely okay and um it has a nice texture it has some little goldies in it if you can see that elevate and if you want you can even put a little to my detriment here um a little i call these officially word dots yep the word dot can go on the right or the left or it can go on both sides but it gives a little uh a little i don't know punct like point a little uh punctuation a little um emphasis yeah okay so we'll put you over in the dunsies okay as the new one where are you in time oh yeah we, we can keep going all right um let's see we need to pick out another little piece of material now i don't have a green one and i have some green material but this one's it's not really wide well it it's almost wide enough but what you can do is you can back it on another material since i have this strip of the world famous curtain i could do that yeah that would be pretty let's do that just layer them up so you don't have to worry that your strips aren't long enough it's okay you can work around it yes because of the power of layering yes all right so now let's get picking the long side let's assess our long side there it is long side kind of looks like one of those trombone things doesn't it but this is the long side and that's what we want to get into yeah okay all right here we go and i think we're in but we got to go through this is the fiddly part you can make it through this you just got to go slow and think yourself through it and then turn it over so that you're looking at the back so that you can lay down your papers and i kind of like that little technique of the uh the layering sideways let's try that again now maybe i'll put some even even put some green in here there's some old ledger and here is some written word oh, okay and I think, you know, I'm intrigued by the different colors, the different textures, the different text, the ledger itself. Um, whether it's purely functional or utilitarian is almost secondary. But if you f feel strongly that you want it to be a usable thing, then by gosh, go ahead and make it a usable thing. Like put white paper in here or put just blank papers or just coffee dyed papers or something like that. Okay, this is my front, so I'm going to turn it over. I'm going to put it, make sure your, your trombone, the long side is low and put that in, fold. Okay. Now everybody hold the breath. I'm going to pick it up and turn it over. Apparently I'm not sewing any of these today because I just don't feel like getting up and going over there and swinging the camera around. So I'm just going to sit here and make these like this because this is just easy and fun. And remember what we said? It's always got to be fun. The minute it's not fun, you need to head to the kitchen and get a snack. That's right. Okay, as long as we're understanding each other and how all this works. Okay, all right, I'm gonna cut that off because I don't want the little end like that. I like it sort of rough. That's sort of neat. Maybe a little shorter. A little shorter than the top bottom one. There, okay. There we go. Okay, now what are we gonna do with this? Oh, I have this. Let's see if we can do something with that. Hmm. I've got this gold on here. I don't think this was a curtain also it's I must have raided a curtain section in the in the thrift store or something now let's see if we can put a gold stripe down the center so you can always cut apart things and, and use the, the components try and look at things differently than what they are but look at them as to what they could become can you use a little piece or a part can you borrow can you borrow from Ethel to put it on you know Sally <laughs> all right here we go all right, I, I think we can do that. We can try that. Let's try it. 
All right, we'll put some glue on, see what happens. Or maybe we should just go across the top and cover the staple, and then that would be easy. All right, let's try that. All right, I think this has two, like, a, there's a fold. Open the fold. Yeah. All right, let's try that. Okay, here we go. Whew, okay, big sweat here. Can we do it? Can we do it? Can we do it? And the glue's down. All right, here, and flattening it out on the back. It's not going to take much of this. Boy, we could do about a million of these. And we're down. Okay, there we go. Kind of pseudo hood hid that staple. All right, and now for my next trick, I got a little button. A little button I made the other day, and that might be fun to put on here. So maybe I could put it here. That's cute. Maybe down here. That's cute too, but I think I, it has the power up here for some reason. I don't know why it's just saying that's where I want to be. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and glue you down there. No idea why, we just like the thought of you up there. And it's a thinner-ish bun button, a little thickish, but you could uh, make these out of paper too, and they would be thin, and that would be super easy. You could totally do that, totally. Okay, and uh, so we got a little gold action going on here. My mat cleaners apparently didn't come today. Sorry. <laughs> Ever. They never came. They never came. They, they saw, they came up to the house and they said, no way, no way. We're run, run for the hills. Um, okay, so let's take some more of this sandstone. Boop. Stickles, sandstone. Stickles is basically glitter glue. Oh, we all know how we, much we love glitter glue, right? Yes, I know. Um, and you can even, like, if you, didn't, if you didn't sew it, you can just fill the holes with glitter glue, which kind of gives it a, a little different look all on its own. I don't know, I just feel like it needs some buttons in the front. Down up, down up, down up, down up, down up, down up. I don't know why, I'm just gonna do a Y at the bottom. I don't know why <laughs> I'm doing the Y. Just thought it was a little different design, something to play with. It's a fun thing is about these little uh, colored glue dots. You can do anything with them. Well, that'd be nice if you could see, right? Yeah, okay, there it is. Let me back up a bit. All right, so you know what we're going to do with that, baby. We're going to put that aside and let it dry. Maybe i got to tear off some of these tails. They're a little long, a little long. There we go. Okay. All right, off you go to the drying bin. All right, so I think I am going to now just bring over the ones we did. No, wait, I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to bring over the original ones because they should be almost dry not totally quite dry but better back up a little bit so you can see everybody i feel like i'm missing one. Oh well probably it's probably still it's probably still on the ground see one two three four and then we'll just put all the newbies down and see what we got well you can't see okay sorry all right there can you see oh well there you go there you are all comfy all comfy oh reaching sorry sorry for the reach here we go here's that one that one's pretty one i think that one's my favorite one i don't know there's just something very shabby shabby shiki yeah all right and this little guy and is that what we made huh. Huh. but these they're very fun and um i hope you give them a try because they're a blast they're a great way to use up scraps and uh they can just uh, fill your afternoon with all sorts. Yeah, you can fill your afternoon with all sorts of fun. So please take care, everybody. I hope you're having bundles of fun today. You certainly deserve it. And if you find value here, please like, subscribe, and share. Please click the notification bell to be notified of up and coming videos. If you check below the video in the drop down description box, you're going to find a link to my Amazon store, which houses my favorite tools and supplies, my Etsy shop, which contains my vintage digital kits, along with uh, journals that I sell when I have them available, and also um, gift bundle sets and all sorts of random things. You'll just never know what you're going to go find when you get there. So go uh, take a check every once in a while. I do some. Um, videos announcing journals also i just pop some in there randomly without any announcement so um also you're going to find the link to my monthly emailed newsletter which is free you're going to get a free digital image every month along with a checklist of supplies for making journals along with a note from the bookmaker and some junk journal tips my videos come out every monday wednesday friday and saturday at 7 a.m eastern time and my podcasts which are free to listen to um, come out tuesdays and thursdays and they are available to you 
um, uh, for free, link down below. Um, if you have Apple or Spotify or seven other platforms, uh, you can listen to it for free. And you can also listen to it for, for free just by clicking on the link below. And uh, to anchor.com, you don't need any of those services. And you can find me on Instagram, Pinterest, Etsy, Etsy Twitter, LinkedIn, and Facebook. Come and join the Facebook group. We're having a lot of fun over there. It's called the, Faith, the Paper Outpost FB Group. Um, or if you just uh, put in uh, paper outpost in uh, Facebook, I think it pops up. So we are having a lot of fun doing weekly and monthly challenges over there. Um, come on over and join in. And we're focusing on creating junk journals and everything related to junk journals that we stuff in them. So I hope you have fun. Um, remember that fun can be simple and create with reckless abandon, everybody. Go have some fun. Take care. Bye. See you next time.